Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Science Query. Today I'm going to discuss about desert ecosystem types and components. An ecosystem is a close relationship between different organisms in a particular region and their surrounding physical and chemical environment. The desert ecosystem is one of the major ecosystems on the earth. About 17% of the earth's surface is covered by the desert ecosystem. Some of the interesting facts about the desert ecosystems are the desert ecosystem are the driest terrestrial ecosystem. Therefore, it has less biodiversity. It is very hot during the day and very cold at night. Desert ecosystem is arid in nature due to very low rainfall that is between 25 to 30 centimeters. The soil is dry, rocky and sandy in nature with very low organic matter. The desert ecosystem has mounds of many sizes, resulting in high intensity sandstorms and dust storms. Now let's see what are the abiotic components of the desert ecosystem. The first abiotic component is high temperature or low temperature. Desert ecosystems usually have either high or have low temperatures. During the day, the temperature reaches a high point due to the heat of the sun and very cold weather prevails at night. Second abiotic factor is the soil. Desert soils do not have any organic matter like nitrogen and phosphorus, which are essential for plant growth. In the desert ecosystem, the soil is dry, rocky and sandy. The soil is not ideal for plant growth. Therefore, there are no big trees. The cactus is the most common plant in the desert ecosystem. In some places, date, cotton, and millet are also cultivated. The third abiotic factor is the low rainfall. Low rainfall is a major feature of desert ecosystems. Rainfall is usually less than 500 mm per year. The plants and animals that live in the desert ecosystem must be able to survive with little water. Cactus stores water in their stems during the rainy season. Now the fourth abiotic factor is the sunlight. Sunlight is an important element of the desert ecosystem. This deeply affects the flora and fauna of the ecosystem. Now let's see what are the biotic components of the desert ecosystem. First biotic component of the desert ecosystem are the producers. Grasses, thorny bushes, cactus and some species of trees like zyphus, acacia, etc. are the producers of the desert ecosystem. Many species of succulents like euphorbia, asparagus, etc. also grow in this ecosystem, known as xerophytes. All these plants can adapt to low rainfall and high temperature. Second biotic factor of desert ecosystem are the consumers. Rats, goat, rabbits, camel and many species of birds are the primary consumers that survive by taking the producers as food. The secondary consumer in the desert ecosystem is many species of reptile, insects, owl, etc. They survive by eating the primary consumers. The tertiary consumers take primary and secondary consumers as food. In this way, the food chain is maintained in the desert ecosystem. Third biotic factors are the decomposers. The number of decomposers in desert ecosystem is very low. Some fungi, bacteria, etc. are the decomposers of the ecosystem. They decompose dead plants and consumers in the desert ecosystem into simple chemicals. Now let's see what are the types of desert ecosystem. First one is the warm desert ecosystem. The climate of this ecosystem is hot and dry in nature. The amount of annual rainfall here is very low. Sahara of North Africa and Kalahari of South Africa, the Thar of India, the desert of Mexico, the Australian desert, California and the Arizona desert, etc. are the example of hot desert ecosystems. In this ecosystem, extreme changes in temperature occur and the soil become rough in nature. Second type of desert ecosystem is the semi-arid desert ecosystem. This ecosystem has small sand dunes, hard rocks, etc. 
the climate of this ecosystem is different from that of the hot desert ecosystem the amount of rainfall is higher in this desert ecosystem than in a normal desert ecosystem the great basin of north america is an example of a semi arid desert ecosystem third type of desert ecosystem is the cold desert ecosystem the climate of this desert ecosystem is very cool in nature this ecosystem receives rainfall in winter the amount of rainfall here is very low in summer it has large snow mounds greenland and the antarctica region deserts are example of the cold desert ecosystems now the fourth type of desert ecosystem is the coastal desert ecosystem oceans and the coastal lines are also having ecosystems these ecosystems are also having extreme conditions and thus are the example of desert ecosystem the diversity of plants and animals in this ecosystem is higher than in other ecosystems the atacama is an example of a desert coastal desert ecosystem now let's see what are the importance of desert ecosystems it plays an important role in maintaining the balance of the earth despite the low rainfall and dry climate this ecosystem is a habitat for many species of plant and animal these animals and plants balance by establishing relationship with each other different type of bacteria are present in the sand of the desert ecosystem these bacteria can store carbon dioxide and act as a carbon sink preventing carbon dioxide from entering the atmosphere these ecosystems are often the source of mineral resources and natural gases it has different types of landforms and oases the natural beauty of this system attracts people from all over the world so these ecosystems play an important role in the tourism industry presently due to the climate change the desert ecosystems are facing so many problems global warming is one of the main issue and its effect are most noticeable in warm desert due to the rise in temperature many plants and animals present in the desert ecosystem are facing challenges related to food and their survivability therefore let us look at the quick summary of what we have learned so far components of desert ecosystem they are mainly divided into two types of components first one is the abiotic components and the second one is the biotic components abiotic components are high temperature or low temperature soil low rainfall sunlight biotic components are producers consumers and decomposers after that types of desert ecosystem mainly desert ecosystems are of four types warm desert ecosystem semi arid desert ecosystem cold desert ecosystem and coastal desert ecosystem hello friends i'm dr ashwathi bharti i hope you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel science query also do comment below for any new topics bye thank you